Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good. In today's video we will be watching how to paint this beautiful mandala inspired by Holy Spirit. And this was a design which I planned for March month last year and I couldn't do it for the rest of the month so I am just continuing the project this year too. For the center I have given 3 cm as radius space and I had divided the circle into 8 parts. And once I place the dots on 8 parts, between the two dots I just place another dot this way, there will be 16 partitioning and I just fill each partition with 4 more dots in between. This way I am just planning my uh, count of dots and the spaces between the dots equally. Now I'm, I will be just continuing the same way as I, how I did and I will be equally placing the dots between the spaces. The paint I'm using for this dots is from Fevicryl brand and it is called as Flesh. I'll provide the details of all the colors used here in the description box below. Here I'm using the pearl blue color from Fevicryl brand. Once I had done the two rows of uh, Flesh color dots, I just created a grid line across the whole picture with one centimeter as a width between the grids so once i'm done with that i just place the blue dot and on top of it i'm again using the same flush color and i'm just creating the dots so here in this project i didn't want to use the general design of the petal shape rather i just wanted to create a rounded shape so that is why i'm using this uh, design here the rounded um, pattern for this particular mandala project so if you are a regular follower of my channel, I just kind of disappeared in the middle because of my full time job and then I couldn't create more works and that was the reason. So yeah, I'm just back. I will try to post regularly. Let's see. Hope this year I can post more videos than usual. So here what I had done is I just did two rows of uh, blue color dot and this is from camel brand I just actually forgot the color I'll just put in the description box but I just wanted to try whether I have to relate with um, the flesh color dot so I just tried it and I finalized with the flesh color so it will be the first flesh color dot and then two rows of blue and again with the flesh color and for the differentiation I just placed a top dot on the flesh color second row now I'm just creating a pointed um, swishes. So this is one of my favorite swishes. So I was taking some time to create this one perfectly. The tool which I'm using to pull this paint across is called as um, quilling needle. So once that is done, I'm again placing the pearl blue and I'm just creating a tear drop kind of uh, dot. The color choices I had given here are basically revolving around the idea of Holy Spirit or the Tao or the colors which has been used in most of all the Christian idols or the Christian statues you would see in the churches. So that was the main idea behind it. For this step 2 I am using the same color combination which I have used in the previous step. And uh, one more request to you people who are watching this video just watch till the end of the video to see how you can decorate your spaces with the rectangular sized mandala project generally a mandala patterns will be done on squares or mostly on circles and squares i had shared some ideas as to how you can display it in your spaces so watch till the end of the video to see that Now I'm using the Little Buddy paint which is a chalk acrylic paint and the shade name is Marsh Green and I'm just using um, it for the swishes here and I'll be giving kind of like a leaf swishes also here in this pattern. After this design I was not kind of sure what would be the next step of my project so I thought let me complete the last row and then I will design the rest. So on the 
last circle i had drawn for my reference i am just placing the pearl blue dot and i am using the same step one uh, pattern that is a circle pattern with the flesh and blue colors so since i planned for uh, doing the circle kind of pattern in order to get that i would recommend you to place two dots on top and then use other dots to just create a circle pattern or else sometimes it will turn out to be a pointy pattern actually so this way the dots will be proportioned and kind of form a circle one happy news which i wanted to share with you all is about a video which i had posted couple of months back so it's about the design which i did for mandala plate so it received lot of um, responses lot of positive responses from you all and i had received lot of uh, good appreciation on it too and gained subscribers on it so thank you so much for your overwhelming support and if you haven't watched it yet i will provide the link to the video in the card above For the next step I'm using the same pattern and the color combination which I had used in the previous steps and I'll be continuing it across the circle and I also have one request so if you have any suggestions for a video or if you have any ideas which I want which you want me to try please do drop it in the comment section below and also if you have any doubts or clarifications with regards to mandala art feel free to um, reach out to me in my social handles or in the comment section so that i can respond to it For the next step I am just tracing a uh, pattern that would fit the space so a petal or a leaf shape I would say so that was a perfect fit between these elements of the design so I am just going on with it and uh, here I will be introducing a new color that is from a little birdie acrylic pouring paint pink tango. Use pearl blue shade and place an oval dot in the center and surrounding it uh, use the pink tango and uh, a blue shade from camel which is called as 335 permanent blue light. So this is the color which I had been used uh, in the previous steps too. And also make sure whenever you are placing uh, these dots so it has to start from the side and it has to go down and above this way the shape will be uh, pointed rather than rounded using the quilling needle i'm just placing the tiny dots uh, within the petal Since the oval dot step was not clear, I'm just showing it again now and this is how I did it. So now once this step is done, I'm just using the marsh green color and I will be doing one round of uh, green colors. So it will be like one ring of green color dots. So within the dots, I'll be placing a tiny, uh, within the circle, I'll be placing tiny dots of same color. So this way it will be like from outside to inside the colors will be uh, entering. So you would see that in the video now. One reason to fill the inner circle uh, is because there is a lot of gaps between the elements of this design. So just for it to be uh, complete, I'm just filling it with the same green color shade.
for the next step i'll be using the same color combinations but instead of rounded shape petal i'm just uh, doing a pointed shape petal so this way there will be a differentiation rather than using the same kind of pattern across the whole design Since the initial dot was kind of small, I'm just uh, making it bigger uh, by using other uh, tool. I think it was 5 mm. So I'm just uh, running it over across all the dots. This way, the dots are a bit big. Now for the pointed petal, I'm using one dot on top. This way, you will get a pointed petal. So now I'll be doing the same design for the two rows and I will be doing um, swishes with the flesh color paint. If you see now on the right side I had done two swishes, one which is on the top with the twisted swish and the other one is a uh, normal swishes we used to do so and then finalize with the twisted one so i'll be placing two dots and then i'll be dragging it down this way you will have uh, a design to the swishes so i actually liked it so i will be doing it across the whole uh, petals Now again since there is a lot of blue color so I just wanted to uh, kind of cut it in the middle so I am using the pink color again so I am just giving uh, 3 rows here with pink color, 2 with pink color and 1 with the white color shade um, and I will be using the 5.5 millimeter tool that is a crochet hook, the wooden crochet hook to make the center dot and i'll be continuing the same pointed petals here too so and i'll be introducing more species now for the rest of the designs For the smaller petals in this row, I'll be using or I'll be placing two dots on either side and I will create swishes that will go inside or invert. So this way it will handle or hold the design together. And for the bigger petals, I'll be using the twisted swishes which I had done in the previous step. I now decided this is the final step for the pattern or the project so I am just using uh, the blue color with the sponge and I am just tapping it across. I didn't want to use a painting brush it will be kind of difficult for me so since the spaces are kind of uh, small and tricky. So once it is done this is how it looks and I am just using the black color and I am outlining the mandala pattern so it will have a clean finish. I couldn't record the center design uh, it actually has um, a bird which is spreading its wings a dove which is spreading its wings and also below it there will be flowers and leaves uh, this was a perfect fit for the design or the idea of holy spirit and also with respect to freedom so i chose this uh, design in the center of this mandala for the dove I used pearl white and flesh colors from Fevicryl acrylic brand and once I am done with that I am finishing the whole work by writing the verse from 2nd Corinthians chapter 3 17. Now the Lord is the spirit, where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom.
for the center dot of all the petals i just did top dots with various shades of uh, light blue and pearl blue and white this way it actually pops up well more than earlier instead of showcasing this painting as one single painting i thought why not we split this painting into three and showcase it in our spaces or in our walls so this was kind of different and yeah i thought like it will be helpful to you all so hope you liked my design and the idea behind this um, please do subscribe to my channel and like comment share on my video and thanks for watching see you next time